Hey everybody, I had a question on this and I figured I'd do a quick little tutorial on how to add a flock for a moss effect to your dioramas. So what we're going to do is we're going to just put a little bit of a moss effect on this stone right here. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need some glue. White glue is what I'm using. This is actually Mod Podge. I really like Mod Podge. Um, you need a brush that you use only for glue, not one you want to ever use for paint again. And for this we're just going to put it on the corners like this for this type of effect to make it look like maybe some moss that is just growing on this rock. Um, oftentimes when I do something like this, I'll look on Google to uh, look at pictures of what moss actually looks like growing on rocks and you kind of realize from the pictures that it usually tends to grow on one side or you know a certain kind of pattern or you don't have to get it exact but you you may or may not want to get like a feel for what actual moss looks like that's up to you but I often use reference pictures so this right here is um, flock or turf grass. They come in many different colors and textures. This is fine turf. This is a Woodland Scenics product, which is a model train scenery company. They make all kinds of different colors and cool little textures. They come in uh, rough and coarse grain as well the color range you could get is pretty amazing they usually it's usually hard to find really most of the colors and you might have a, a serious model store around you that you might find them at you can find the basic stuff normally at uh, say a Michaels or Hobby Lobby is pretty good um, so we're just gonna go ahead and get the flock and the glue tapping it down a lot with my finger although you probably shouldn't do that until it dries but I'm being impatient because I am sometimes so all right we're just gonna go ahead and leave that flock pattern on I'm gonna cut for a minute when this dries and uh, we'll be right back okay so this is all dry now and um, I probably should have done it on camera but what I did was I wiped off the excess flock and so this is on there pretty good now now what I'm going to do is actually the the real trick with this because honestly the biggest problem you have with flock is it doesn't want to stay on and over time you know little bits will come off every time you move it or a figure stands on it you'll knock a little bit more off but um, what you can do actually is and it's gonna feel weird doing it because it, it's not gonna look like it's gonna work but when it dries it's gonna work you actually coat the flock along with the rest of your piece with Mod Podge and this is something a lot of people use to seal in their dioramas as well as uh, if you're doing war games terrain this is also something that's very common you put Elmer's glue or PVA glue on top of your just basically white glue on top of your finished scenery to give it kind of a uh, it'll give it you know a, a semi gloss kind of finish number one and, and number two it just gives it more protection where it'll actually not have as much give to it and if something falls over like a action figure or a you know anything any kind of minifig or toy or anything it'll just kind of bounce off it it's less likely to take a chunk out of it um, so it's definitely a good thing to do whenever you're building any kind of diorama or anything really out of pink foam so you can see that this looks really scary right now but I'm going to cut for a minute and show you what it looks like when it's dry okay so here we have our 
Uh, Mod Podge on here is dry now, and you can see the moss has returned back to its green color. The color does change a little bit when you put the uh, white glue or Mod Podge on it, um, but it still looks, you know, nice and mossy. And this stuff is not coming off here anytime soon either. It's really uh, quite durable now in comparison to how it would be without the glue coat on there. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.